This is an elevator or climbing system that would enable a handicapped or incapacitated person to be able to access the tree with the help of a host climber. So I've set this up with a host climber in mind and also a guest climber using two omni-block pulleys with uh, two tie-in points or two anchors and the the way that I have this set up is the host climber is set up to go up on an SRT line using whatever ascension device that they would like it can be in this case I'm going to use the unisender but it can be a rope wrench or a rope runner or any other ascension device it'll go up and set at a cinched canopy anchor which will be the primary tie-in point for the host on the guest side the uh, the guest will be tied in or connected on the spliced end working end of their climbing line and it will go through the uh, two anchors the reason I have two anchors is to keep the host and the guest separated slightly so that they're not bumping into each other at the same time and the guest will be set up with a DDRT system, in this case a friction hitch with a hitch climber pulley and that would be a basic DDRT system. The uh, DDRT system, the, um, the friction hitch side of that will be connected to the host climber. So the host has the option of climbing up to the tie-in point and at that time when he descends the guest climber will ascend. And when they meet in the middle someplace, they have a choice of and uh, to give the friction hitch in to the guest climber and let the guest continue up on their own. Or um, they can both continue up together while the host climber is assisting the guest climber to the anchor point. For the descent, since the guest climber basically, as far as the host climber is concerned, becomes an SRT load. In other words, this load at the anchor or the saddle for the host, that will be the entire load of the guest. And so the friction device used in this case needs to be capable of taking the entire load of the guest. So for this I have added a Petzl rig. It could be a Petzl ID or some other device. It could even be a secondary friction hitch. The point being that unlike the DDRT system where that friction hitch is only taking half of the load, in this case this uh, end of the climbing system is taking the entire load and so to um, keep the friction hitch from burning through or locking up or being overly loaded we'll put the Petzl ID on there and the Petzl uh, rig or ID in this case is capable of um, managing the entire descent for the guest climber so that's the setup and we're gonna go put it in the tree and give it a test All right, here's the, here's the system. I'm suspended on my SRT line, which is a unisender, going up to an anchor point, a tie-in point. And my guest here, Judy, I'm the host. My guest, I'm the host with the most. My guest, Judy, is on the splice stand of the DDRT line, which goes up through a couple of Omnibox and then comes back down to my saddle. I have her on a hitch climber pulley with a friction hitch and a diesel and that being backed up it's enough for a DDRT system that being backed up with a pistol rig. Now at this point I can descend which is going to bring Judy up and once she is suspended, 
I have the choice of lowering her with the rig or she can continue to go up and we can go up together once we meet in the middle. But uh, if I want to lower all the way down, I can do that with just the Petzl rig. If myself alone lowers her with the friction hitch, it won't be enough because that friction hitch in this configuration will be basically a redirect of the pulley system. So I, as a hauler, have her entire weight on that friction hitch. Now if she takes it, then she's a climber and that gives her only half of her weight for the friction hitch. So as a hauler, and I'm, I realize that we're both kind of climbing, but I'm a hauler to my guest. As a hauler, I cannot use just that friction hitch because it's supporting 100% of the weight. That's why I back it up with the rig. The rig is structured such that it can handle SRT or 100% of the weight. Okay, so Judy's gonna start going up here in a moment. And she's coming off the ground. See, the guest is going up and the host is coming down. Now, right now, I use my unisender in a squeeze mode because in reality, even with friction, I'm only taking maybe 50 pounds or less on my side. So the guest goes up and the host goes down. How do you like that? <laughs> how's, cool. how's the ride? Yeah. Now, Dude. now to let Judy down, guest come down. Like I said, the friction hitch right now is supporting all of her weight. So I can let that friction hitch out and I can let her down with both the rig and the friction hitch. That takes two hands. Or I can release the friction hitch and let her down with just the rig. So you kind of have two choices there. And Judy goes down. All right, so I'll climb SRT and then and now what we do okay so I am on my SRT system she's on the elevator the uh, guest will come up the elevator as I go down I've got her I've got the kinesc, uh, the guest suspended from the friction hitch and also the pencil uh, rig. Once I start my descent, Judy's going to start coming up. As she comes up and the weight comes onto my system, freeze mode so that she can come up. And it's very easy. In fact, we're almost balanced. I, I have to give my side very little release. And there comes the guest until we meet in the middle. Okay. That was fun. How was that climb? Was that a lot of exercise for you? I'm worn out right now. You're exhausted? I mean, you climbed all of 20 feet? 20 feet. So, do you want to climb some more? Yeah. Okay, so now to climb some more, what I need to do is you're being supported by the friction hitch and the rig. But we will keep it connected. Now from this point, I can put tension on the rig and completely hand over at this point on this section of the line. I could release the girth hitch on this and completely hand over this and connect it to your harness and you would be on your own DDRT system. Or we have the choice of letting the slack out on the rig 
And now, if you were an incapacitated climber, I now have the ability to send you up the rope a little further and send you up the rope a little more, or basically. How's that climb going? It's going good. All right, now, just so that you don't get too far ahead of me, we'll go ahead and reconnect my line. And when I come up, which is really easy for me to do, you come down. And again, I'll tend my unisender here. And all I have to do is switch my foot ascender to your side. And we send you up again. Except you know what? What? I am doing all the freaking work. You are doing all the work and I'm having a really good time. Because I am the host with the most. <laughs> you want to go down? The uh, guest is going to go down and I have control from here with the rig. You ready? Mm -hmm. ready. Down you go. How was your landing? 